Volvo and station wagons go together like IKEA and Swedish meatballs. The V60, Volvo's smallest wagon offering, is neither the latest nor greatest example of the breed that would be the larger V90, but it still offers a distinctive combination of practicality and Scandinavian style despite its age. It was put into production in 2010 and went on sale in the United States in 2014. The standard V60 is the traditional choice while the V60 Cross Country offers a bit of rugged appeal with its standard all-wheel drive, raised ride height, and extra body cladding. The high-performance V60 Polestar, with 362 horsepower, is for those few who want plenty of pace with their space. What's new for 2018? Nothing, other than a slight restructuring of trim levels. The base D5 trim has been replaced by the T5 Dynamic at the bottom level, trims and options we choose. We typically prefer conventional wagons as opposed to their ruggedized, SUV-inspired counterparts, but Volvo organizes the V60 lineup so that the cross-country model makes the most sense from a value perspective. The V60 cross-country offers a reasonable amount of standard equipment, it's a Plevel Platinum trim, for $46,695, includes features such as all-wheel drive, Census Connect infotainment system with navigation Forward collision warning and lane keeping assist Xenon headlights with automatic high beam headlights On top of that, we'd also shell out $925 for the blur package, which includes blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. If you live in a colder climate, you'll either want to pay $750 for heated front seats and a heated steering wheel or $1,300 for the climate package, which includes those features as well as heated rear seats, heated windshield wiper nozzles, and an interior air quality system. The final price of our preferred V60 Cross Country AWD Platinum is $48,920 or you could completely throw caution to the wind and opt for the wild, 362 horsepower V60 Polestar hot rod for $62,595. And if you do want the Polestar, don't delay any longer, 2018 will be its final production year.